Programming is easily one of the most enjoyable things that you can ever choose to learn. The first program I wrote was quite simple, it just printed my name out onto the screen. And while that doesn't sound like much, it was enough to make me want to learn more about it. Fast track to now and I've been working as a software engineer in London for about 10 years. I've worked on building apps and websites to projects in machine learning and information security. And in that time I've learned a lot, but I've also made a lot of mistakes too. And so in this video I have three tips for beginners. Things I wish I knew or someone had told me when I first started learning how to program. So the first tip I have for you is to set yourself a good North Star goal. What do I mean by that? Well, if I had to ask you what is the one thing that you want to do with programming, what would it be? Now if you have an answer for that, fantastic. But if you don't, I'd probably take some time out to think a bit more about that. Now in terms of coming up with that goal, it's important to consider that programming itself is just a tool. Think of it like Lego pieces. Each individual Lego piece is meaningless, but how you put them together is really what matters in the end. And programming is very similar to that. If you learn a programming language by itself, it's not going to be that useful, but how you actually use that programming language is really where your creativity and your skill begins to show. Now, I totally get there's many of you out there who are thinking about learning how to program because maybe you want to pick up a new skill or maybe there's a colleague at work who is a programmer and you've kind of been interested in what they're doing, but you've never really had the time to look into it. And so you're watching this video. That is a great goal. In saying that programming is quite pragmatic. So if you have an idea of something that you want to build, it will make it much easier to learn programming. I'd highly encourage you to spend half a day or a day thinking about different ideas of things that you can build with programming. Maybe your personal blog where you can write stories and share them with others, or maybe an app that allows you to share pictures. Don't worry about whether or not it already exists. At this stage, it's just about getting familiar with programming. And so starting off with a project just makes that whole journey much easier. Just before I continue, I do want to let you know that this is my first video like this on the channel and it took ages to record. So if you do find it helpful, I'd really, really appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up below and you could click to subscribe. That way I can continue to make more videos like this for you as you begin your programming journey. Tip number two, never lose sight of your goal. Now, a friend of mine called me the other day and told me he had an app idea. So I asked him more about it and honestly it sounded quite cool. So I sent him over a list of video tutorials as well as um, text tutorials that I thought would be quite useful and will help him to get started. Three weeks later I called him to check in and I asked him how it was going and he said to me that he hadn't yet started. I asked him why and he said that he was spending time on programming websites where he could solve quizzes and challenges to help him beef up his programming skills before he would start building the app. I've seen it time and time again with new programmers who start off with an idea of something that they want to build, but a couple of weeks or a month or so later what will happen is that they'll end up getting distracted focusing on other things that weren't in line with their original goal. So it's really important to make sure you stay focused on your goal and you try your best to remind yourself of that. Anytime you make a decision in your programming journey, always ask yourself, does that take you away from your goal or does it actually help you towards it? And if you find it's the former, then it's best to stay away from it because it's very easy to distract yourself with programming. The other day I spent hours and hours on Google and YouTube. All I wanted to do was build a scraper to pull tweets off of Twitter. The next thing I know I'm looking and reading articles about using sentiment analysis with machine learning to try and understand the sentiment of tweets. That definitely wasn't the goal that I started off with but it just goes to show that before you know it you can spend hours distracting yourself with something that isn't in line with your goal. Tip number three. Don't rush to learn everything. When you're first starting out, it can be very easy to want to learn as many languages as you can as quickly as possible. If you actually go on Google and type in list of program languages, you'll see that there are so many program languages. There's actually a programming language for every letter in the alphabet and combination of letters. You have C, C++, C sharp, D, D sharp. You know, the list goes on and it's just mental how many programming languages actually exist. With that in mind, trying to learn all of them is really impossible and probably not the most productive thing that you can do with your time. If you speak to a few experienced programmers, they'll tell you that knowing one language very well is much better than trying to learn many languages and knowing them very little. The beauty in programming is that most languages are quite similar. The underlying concepts in one language, once you learn them, 
make it much easier for you to then learn any other programming language. The first programming language I learned was Perl, and that made it much easier to learn PHP, Java, Python, C++, C Sharp, the list goes on. The point is that every one of these languages is very similar. Variables exist in PHP and they also exist in Python. Conditionals exist in Perl and they also exist in C++. And so if you learn these concepts from one language and you learn them very well, I guarantee you it will be so much easier to learn any other language in your journey going forward. Some of the best programmers that I worked with had the deep knowledge of one programming language. So when it came to solving more difficult programming problems, they would be able to add insights because they really understood the intricacies of that one language and that proved to be very useful. So in short, don't try to rush and learn every single programming language you can. And please don't rush to Amazon to buy as many books as you can on Python programming because someone told you that doing so will make you a better programmer. Right now, it's much better to just go online and look at a few tutorials, keep them short and focus on trying to build a decent foundation right at the beginning. Don't get too bogged down with some of the harder problems. Don't get bogged down with how many programming languages exist. Just focus on the smaller things. Try to get those quick wins because if you can get those quick wins at the beginning, that's gonna give you the motivation to want to continue. So that's a wrap everyone. Those are my three tips for beginner programmers. Uh, hopefully you found that helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please do click the thumbs up button and the subscribe button below. I'm gonna continue making more videos like this for you. And by the way, if you're learning how to program for the first time, feel free to leave a comment and let me know which language you're starting off with. Or if you have any questions or suggestions of videos that you want me to make, please do let me know because I'm gonna be making new videos like this on the channel. I'm gonna pay close attention to the comment section to make sure as time goes on I make videos that are relevant and useful for you. I just want to give a shout out to two of my friends. One is Osman. He is a great photographer and great videographer and he helped me set up this entire thing. I've put a link to his work in the description below. I also want to give a shout out to Yoyo Vlogs, a friend of mine who has 30,000 subscribers on YouTube and he inspired me to start creating videos like this for you on the channel. Um, I've put a link to his YouTube in the description below. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely day and see you next time. Sub button and the subscribe button below. Subscribe, subscribe button below. <laughs>